Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your boy Smokesty here, back at you with another video. And today we are on USA GP 2016 by GB Digital Works. And this is on the MX Bike Shop right now for free. So go cop it, go pick it up. First and foremost, just go click that button. Because even if you don't want to play it right now, you know what I'm saying? It'll be in your downloads for future use and you can just go back to it at any point you know what i mean if right now you're not feeling like hey i can handle that track just click the download button it'll be in your uh, downloads forever so you don't have to worry about it and then you know when you are feeling up to the task of glenn helen you can always come right back man i always say that every time that there's a free track so i just want to get that out of the way first second this is available from the first to the seventh um, they do that every month on the MX Bike Shop with their free tracks, you know what I'm saying? So definitely just go cop it. And right now there's another one too. I believe it's, um, what is it called? Uh, it's, some, it's one of the OCE MX tracks. It was the exact same one that was free. Oh, cool I think. It was free last month as well. And if you want to check out the writing on that, go to my last free video the uh, this track is free for a limited time video and I rode that one in that video I'm not gonna do it again because I've already done it once but definitely go pick that up too like I said you know you might not be interested in it right now but in the future man hey you never know so instead of having to pay for it in the future when you check it out and you're like oh hey that looks cool you already have it just go click that button cop it real quick it's easy and then thirdly man I did want to say that this thing is very fun to ride. Now, it might look familiar because JV had just released his iteration of Glen Helen not too long ago. Um, but his was based on the 2007 layout, I want to say. And then this one is on the 2016 layout. So, a bit of a different layout. And as far as like graphical features and stuff, I definitely give it to JV's. JV's looked so good. It really did. It just looked phenomenal, bro. But this one still looks really good. So um, I'm enjoying it. And it is not as hard as JV's. JV's was... Ooh, JV's, man, I felt like you had to be damn near pro to get around that thing. Especially going down the hills. Like, I wasn't able to hold the gas down. On this one, I can hold the gas down while going down the hill and stuff. Um... But yeah, and I don't know how they did it on the old bikes going up these hills. But even with the new OEMs and stuff, my front end still likes to twitch a little bit. So I imagine this track was a pain in the butt to ride on the previous OEMs, bro. Before the before they fixed the whole front end and stuff after the whole factory OEM thing where they copied them or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't know how you guys rode this on the old OEMs, man. That's crazy. I didn't even know that this track ever existed until it popped up as free on the MX Bike Shop. So, But uh, I, I wanted to hop on here and just let you guys know, man. Go cop it. Just pick it up. Because even if you don't want to play it now, you'll have it in the, uh, in the future if you ever want to, you know? And as far as how it rides, bro, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think by the time this video is done, I'll have like... 10 to 12 laps roughly on it and i think that it will be in servers usually the free tracks after they become free are um especially after it was a paid and then free you usually see at least one server running them so i mean it's worth it man it's worth it just to go pick up and as always we're on the fantic 250 you know i love this bike god dang it oh also for the members Mainly Turbo and Noswad, the Shammy Time emoji with two straws <laughs> is active in Discord and YouTube. I finished it up before I got on this morning. Um, I got home from work and figured I'd get on and finish that emoji up real quick and then do a video on this because this is a limited time, you know what I mean? So I wanted to make sure I got a video done on it and i don't remember if i mentioned it's from the first to the seventh every month pretty sure i said that but if i didn't now you knew um and then i want to get the uh the super donkey special i'm gonna call it <laughs> the 
T-Rex that says, yes. <laughs> I want to get that emoji done. I got to get that up in there too. Don't worry, donkey. I'm working on it, man. Definitely got to get that going. But with this track not being as rough as JV's, I almost feel like I'm having more fun on it. Like, yeah, it doesn't look as good and everything, and but it's not as rough. You know what I mean? And for my skill level, man, JV's one was kicking my butt, bro. I got to be honest with you. That one was hard, man. I think I tried to record that video, so I don't even remember how many times. I just know it was a lot of times. Now with this one, I already recorded it once, but I didn't like the way it turned out with the volumes and stuff. So I'm uh, trying to record it again, talk a little bit louder because in the other room, my wife and kids are sleeping, but they have a fan on, so I don't think they can hear me. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this thing recorded before they wake up. But I think this track is fun. I keep forgetting to shift down when I'm trying to think of what to say next. Jeez Louise, man. All bad. Don't ever record a video when you get off work before bed when you're tired. That's bad timing. Very bad timing, sir. But overall, man, the track rides fire. It's nice and flowy. It is rough, but not insanely rough. I feel like most of the roughness has to do with more of like the corners and stuff. So now right there, you can go to the outside and triple or go to the inside, double, then triple. Or do what I just did and double all the way through it. And I feel like pretty much any way you do it is pretty effective. Um, I think if you hit the outside and you hit the first triple, you might be able to triple again after that. We will try that on our way um, back through there on the next lap. Because I'm curious now. But I know the front ends on here are definitely stable enough to handle these um, major elevation changes. I would not even have attempted this on the old OEMs, man. Because, uh, oh boy, those things were rough, weren't they? Especially with hills like this. So it definitely feels good to be able to get up it. And you can tell that these are some big elevation changes because that bike be struggling. It might help if I was in second gear instead of third. But hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We hit 2,000 subscribers on the channel i can't believe it i still remember when we hit 1000 and it took us i want to say five months to hit 1k and then from january 12th to february 29th i think it was we got another thousand and now or no it was january 12th to march 2nd we got another thousand and at the time of recording we are at 2036 which is insane man so Everybody that subscribed, bro, I appreciate you very much. Everybody that became members, I appreciate you very much. You guys are all very, very appreciated. And I am currently working on my members only videos and how I'm going to do that exactly. Um, but as far as the other ones, if you're a member, you can go into my Discord right now as long as your YouTube and Discord are linked and download the Smokes to Hoodies. Um, and then I will have a new set of gear releasing every month for all the members. And then if you're a pro member, you get early access to videos, um, stuff like that. You can go read that if you're interested. If not, hey, it's all good. Oof, I love that triple. It's a huge triple. But yeah, other than that, man, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you go join that Discord, man, especially if you're a member. Link it up so you can get your, uh, get your stuff, bro. And, uh, yeah, hit that like and subscribe button, man, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.